Hi, my name is Regina Martinez. I'm with Build a Workflow, and today I want to talk to you guys about three common workflow mistakes and how to avoid them. So let's dive in. Workflow mistake number one, making your workflow too complicated. A lot of my clients come to me completely overwhelmed because they don't know where to start. Listen, you do not need a workflow with 47 steps. You could start with something simple and effective. In fact, I would recommend a basic workflow. I call it my core five. Let me go over it with you very quickly and I'll tell you why this works. Step number one, sends a brochure immediately after activating the workflow. Step number two, sends an email immediately after the client makes a selection in the brochure. Step number three, it sends an email immediately after the first payment is made. Step number four, sends an email one week before the project. This is the check-in email. Step number five, it sends an email one day after your project. This is the thank you and request for a testimonial. But the best part about this, it's all automated. I don't have to think about sending these emails ever. It seriously feels like I have an assistant working for me, but there's a problem with this because clients don't always read our emails, do they? And sometimes we forget to follow up, they forget to follow up. So that brings me to my next most common workflow mistake, neglecting follow-up emails. So I'm actually going to add a follow-up email to this workflow. Let's put it on up here, but I don't wanna send it automatically because you don't always need follow-up emails. So I'm gonna change the approval from send automatically to approve before sending. So once you have a great workflow, you have follow-up emails in it, there's another mistake people make because what do you do once you have a workflow? A lot of people forget to attach a workflow to your contact form. So let's see if I have attached this to my contact form yet. I did, <laughs> okay. But if I didn't select anything, it would say not assigned. Now, let me tell you why this is an awesome feature. Okay, your um, project types right here. Again, this is going to look custom according to your company, how you've customized these project types. This is attached to a question in your contact form. I call it, oops, let's go back. I call it the magical question, the project type, because when someone is filling out your contact form, they come to this question, they're going to select what kind of project or event they're having. And depending on what they select, let's say they select event, that's going to trigger the workflow because I have event selected. So there you have it. Those are three common workflow mistakes and how to avoid them. I hope this inspires you to dive in and get started, but I also created a checklist for you. So you can actually download your free workflow checklist at reginamartinez.com forward slash basic workflow. All right, have fun and get some workflows built.